Uh, we'll start with Jacob Steinberg. Jacob. Hey, Aaron. Coach talked about the struggles on the glass for you guys tonight. Obviously, you haven't had a chance to watch the film yet, but what do you think was the biggest challenge? Do you think it was the lack of size down low, positioning? What do you think the biggest issue was? I mean, obviously, you know, they had, I don't know how big the, day, the kid is, like 6'10", but I mean, they had a little bit of size and length on us, but I mean, we just weren't tough enough to, you know, box out. Uh, we weren't physical enough down low in the second half. I think we did a really good job in the first half, keeping them off the boards, uh, you know, limiting their second chance points. But in the second half, they were getting offensive rebounds and they were scoring out of them, whether it was tip backs for twos or kickouts and extra three point looks. So, I mean, we just got to be a little bit more physical and, and tougher, uh, you know, in the closing minutes. Emily Giambalba. Hey, Aaron. Um on a somewhat positive note, it seemed like the defense was pretty good in the first half. What do you, what do you feel like you guys did or improved upon um, before halftime there? Yeah, I mean, our, our guys were locked in defensively in the first half. Uh, we we emphasized guarding ball screens, keeping the bigs off the boards. Uh, our post defense was working for us. You know, we we contained their their four and their five in the first half. Um, but, you know, it was something that we, we kind of let up on in the last eight minutes, maybe of the second half. And once those guys started getting rebounds and they started getting uh, boards, they got going and they, you know, they fed off their bigs energy. Uh, their, their guards started to hit jump shots and everything just started going for them in the second half. And uh, we just we just weren't tough enough to to um, fight back. Lila Brumberg. Aaron, um, you know, when Indiana first took the lead in the second half off of that triple and then, um, you know, getting the steal um, so that Trace Jackson Davis uh, had that slam, just kind of how much did that change the energy of the game and kind of uh, deflate you guys from a defensive standpoint? Yeah, I mean, you know, we're in their building. So when when one team gets that energy, gets that burst of energy and momentum in their own building, you know, it could, it could always make a difference. Uh, you know, their, their bench had a lot of energy off of that, the dunk that Trace Jackson had. And uh, I think that really got them going. Uh, that burst of energy just made a little bit of a difference in the game, uh, and and we just didn't we didn't uh, answer answer their their little run then. Uh, last question, Daniel Yafusi. Hey Aaron, I know um, last game against Michigan you shot about two for eleven. <clears throat> excuse me, but today you looked a lot more comfortable. I mean, just um, how's the elbow feeling? I know I know we've asked you about that in recent weeks, but just how are you feeling? And I know um, you know you've had, you've had some up and down scoring efforts, but how'd you feel out there tonight? Uh, yeah, I mean, my elbow's feeling fine. Uh, you know, I'm still going to continue to wear the pad just for safety and stuff. But uh, I mean, you know, it was a, a decent performance tonight. But as a team, you know, I'm not I'm not worried about the way I play. I, I want to win. And uh, we came up short. We didn't get the outcome that we wanted. And we got to be better because, you know, the way we're playing right now is, isn't getting it done. All right, Aaron. Thank you. Appreciate your time.